Hi, my name is Keith Cooper from North Light Images and uh, this is Canon G550. It's the same as the 650 which has a scanner and it has a few different model numbers in other regions of the world. But it's a 6 ink printer, um, dye based printer, uh, ink tanks. And uh, in this short video I'm going to show making a large panoramic print on this printer. Now a much smaller printer than I normally use. Um, I've printed pictures up to 14-15 meters long in making big panoramics but obviously uh, not of a printer this size. Uh, this one has a limit of 1.2 meters. Uh, this is some 8 inch uh, matte photo paper that I have a roll of from uh, testing an Epson uh, sure color printer and uh, it's a generic matte photo paper and here's a one meter length which I'm going to use for printing. Now it can go up to 1.2 meters but I've uh, picked a meter here just for convenience for the image I wanted to print. Uh, you need to make a custom uh, paper size and uh, you need to take care in loading and managing the paper when it goes through. That's why I've got the printer turned around by 90 degrees so the paper can go in here and come out here. If you have it your normal way around, you've got to roll the paper up behind, you've got to collect it when it comes out, it can be a bit more awkward. However you've got your printer set up, consider this if we're making large prints that you need to consider where the paper's going to go in and where the paper's going to come out as the print is done. But anyway, I'll just set up the computer here to print. I'm, I'm using uh, Photoshop, an oldish version of Photoshop, on a Mac. And uh, I'm going to print from that. You can print using other uh, software perfectly well. I just happen to use, soft, uh, use uh, Photoshop for this. Now, I'll need a custom paper size. Um, I've got some examples of it I'll show just here. But it should be doable for whatever you want. Now, for color management, I'm going to be using a profile I've made for a matte photo paper for the Mac. Now there are some color management issues with the 550, 650 here um, that I'll cover when I do the full review. But suffice to say, I've made custom profiles which I can use on the Mac. Uh, the question is, I'm not entirely certain they'll work on a Windows PC, uh, but we don't have any PCs around here, so uh, that will be up to somebody to test. But the profiles are available for testing. Uh, if you contact me directly um, via email and uh, let me know, then I can probably find a profile for you. I've only a very limited number of papers um, and many papers from overseas, remember I'm in the UK, many papers from overseas I simply won't be able to cover, but I may have something similar. Um, I say colour management is still a work in process in my looking at this printer, so uh, hopefully I'll have more details later. But uh, over to the computer. Now I've loaded up this wide image and um, it's, it, it prints actually, it's not quite as long and thin as this paper, but I'm cropping it slightly and I'm doing this uh, in the uh, print settings here. Now I've selected uh, my profile and I need to go to the print settings where I've created a preset. Now I always suggest creating printer presets. It helps get things right and stop things from drifting. Um, sometimes when you open up you shut something down, you open it up again and the setting may have changed. Now they shouldn't but they do. Anyway this is a custom paper size of 203 by 1000 so a meter long by 8 inches it's currently set at best quality. Um, I'm going to turn that down to normal just so it prints in a reasonable amount of time. So uh, won't notice much difference, but I will be looking at some of these settings in the main review. But anyway, there we are, we've set that for that. And I now need to get ready to print it. Now, first of all, I'm going to load the paper. Now, in loading the paper, I've collapsed the uh, little bit that sticks up at the back here for the paper guide. Um, I've reduced that. I'm going to put the paper in. I'm to put that there. Uh, this is something you're going to have to experiment with. Um, for a printer that's not designed for roll paper, it's always a little bit of a sort of suck it and see. Now I've moved the paper guides to give a loose fit for the paper there 
I put the little tray down there. I'll need to set the paper type here. Now in this I'm setting it uh, Now, first of all, I need to set the size. Now, this is going to be other. And there are lots of them here. There are all kinds of size settings. Others, right at the, at the end of a long, long list. So we're OK for others. Now, you can get the printer. You can set it to, so that the settings on the computer override the printer. Um, if you don't use many paper types and things like that, you know what you're doing, that's great. It makes it a bit easier every time you load a sheet. However, I'm doing lots of testing. I change papers. So I always make a point of setting the media here and on the computer. So a belt and braces approach. It has saved me an awful lot of wasted paper over the years. It may not be the quickest way of doing it, but it certainly reduces the number of times I make duff prints. Now, size. Um, this is me, so the next one is media setting. So I've set that, and I've just set that to matte. So we've now got the printer set, others for the size of the paper, and matte for this. Now matte is the one that I made the profile for that I'm using, so we can print it. I'm just looking from behind just to make sure that everything is lined up, everything looks fairly straight. Uh, we're going to have to guide this somewhat. Um, we're seeing how it goes. Now I go over to the computer and uh, I have the screen set here and I can just press print. And it's going to take a while because it's a slowish laptop. And at some point, this is going to uh, jump into life, hopefully and print. Now I've set this as a borderless size. I haven't specified borderless, I just when I created the custom I've not specified any borders. We will find out in a moment whether the printer actually does borderless. Cannot feed the paper. We'll straighten the edge out a little bit. all those assorted error messages, it has grabbed the paper and it seems to be printing. Now, you've, I've deliberately left my puzzlement at it doing things like this to show you that even after all the dozens and dozens of printers I've tested over the years, not one is ever the same as another one. Um, there is always something potentially to catch you out. So, practice stuff like this with cheaper paper, um, and also uh, if you've got some plain paper, I wouldn't put expensive paid photo paper through doing this until I tried it with some cheap paper like this. You can make uh, your own cut sheets. Uh, this is one from uh, Pinnacle, it's Paper Spectrum, local supplier here in Leicester in the UK. And this is a panoramic paper, and this is 594 by 210 millimeters, so it's double A4. Um, this will work very well in this. Uh, it's actually half an A2 sheet, so if you get an A2 sheet and you can accurately cut it in half, you can make your own panoramic paper like this. Um, quite a few suppliers now do panoramic paper. Have a look, it won't be sort of heavily advertised on their websites, but uh, you'll be able to find it. And it saves faffing around with roll paper. And uh, this roll paper is in something like a 100 metre roll. Um, so I've got miles of the stuff upstairs. So hence why I'm using here. Anyway, we seem to have a printer cut print coming out. Uh, it's uh, going quite quickly. I let's say, I did this at the best, uh, not at the best mode, at the normal mode, rather than draft. And it seems to be printing quite quickly. Oh, we have a border. 
we have a sort of enforced, mm, I'm going to say, four mil border, something like that, maybe five millimeter border. But anyway, that's coming out there. Well, it seems to be working. This, this sort of little, uh, as it prints, seems a bit, uh, I, I suspect it may be limited by the fact that it's on wireless and there's not that good a signal where it is here. But anyway, it's printing, so we're going to get print. And yes, I am still always slightly surprised when printing works uh, on a new printer, on a new paper. Um, it's one of the reasons I enjoy doing these tests. If you've questions about the 550, 650, this range of printers, please do feel free to ask in the comments or uh, contact me directly at Northlight by email and um, I'll see if I can help. Um, I've got quite a few ideas of things I'm testing here before I do the main review, um, but certainly it works. Um, I've tried cards, all kinds of things, and it does generally give good results. But uh, we should find out in a moment what my panoramic print looks like. And you see, it's just flowing out straight over here, actually over the keyboard of my laptop and beyond. Oh, and there we go, it's done. Well, thank you, little printer. You appear to have produced a quite nice looking one meter long panoramic print. Uh, not at all bad. As uh, I say, uh, if you find stuff like this useful, let me know. Feel free to ask questions. Subscribe to the channel um, and uh, show me that people are actually interested in this sort of stuff. So uh, thank you very much. Bye.